I love when people ask me how I became successful and got started in this business. It gives me an excuse to talk about a special woman who gave a young, naive girl a chance to make something of herself. This is the story of Miss Nora, myself, and our family. Waiting for you at home by myself. I said, no, I'm getting my hair done today. I'm going out with my girls. You know, nada, okay? Okay, let me put it on. I'm going to use my products on you today, baby. I told you. It ain't going to burn too much. That's Miss Nora. She's the center of this family. She changed my life. Yeah, I was a little more not kinda. Where you get feet like this? Prison? No, I'm a dancer. Dancer? Where you dance? A fire? No, ballet. Ballet? I don't care. I don't touch these feet. Ming, fix the girl's feet. Yes, sir? That's Ming, the salon manicurist. She always speaks her mind. First, I chop off this feet, and then saw feet from someone else. Ming? What do you want me to do? Come and see. Oh, baby, where you been dancing? On open cans? Rehearsals are hard on my feet. I know my feet are ugly, but I can't help it. Okay, honey, don't start that crying now, all right? Ming's gonna make your feet look nice and pretty. What? Ming, work a miracle. I'm calling immigration. <laughs> you I got harm on your loot, harm on your loot. Harm on your loot, yeah, I know. Yo, fix a feet, Ming. Child, please. Ming can work a miracle on that girl's feet, and fast, too, trust me. Then why is she complaining? You tell me when and where you ever met a happy old Korean manicurist. Oh. Mm. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> they don't exist. <laughs> Requirements when hiring. Fast, neat, and grumpy. <laughs> Here's your sandwich, Miss Nora. No mayonnaise with a tad of mustard, just the way you like it. Thank you, baby. Oh, you want a tip? Well, don't let the door hit you with a good Lord's bitch. <laughs> Go on, boy. Ain't nobody giving you no tip. There's Delicious, flamboyant as you want to be. He's part of the Salam family, even though he doesn't work here. His boyfriend does. That's Devin. There's always drama between those two. Okay, fuck the backstory. Where were you and why haven't you called Biatch? I rented us. Two black boys got nasty again in Papa's tool shed. And I bought us champagne and strawberries. I'm not really forgiven, or uh, you just didn't want to watch the sequel alone. Both. Bitch. Proud to be one. <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Nora. How are you? You ought to be ashamed of yourself, switching your little ass past here and not speaking. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Damn, LaRon, you getting big. Got a girlfriend yet? Man, don't worry about that. You know they used to be together, right? Used to be? They're not together no more? No. Oh, and by the way, you know you never said hello to little Devin and little Delicious. The gayest goldfish of the sea. I can't believe these bitches still alive. Alive and... Oh, baby, hit me two times. <laughs> oh, go. Mm, go Delicious, it's your birthday. Go Delicious, go Delicious, it's your birthday. Ow! Man, y'all are nasty. Y'all need to stop having so much fun over there. That's Zenobia, 100% Latina. She's juggling two jobs. Stop having fun? Never that. <laughs> I need to take you two girlies down to my strip club. Girl, you're still stripping at that club. Oh, you know it, Peach. It is on every Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday morning, and I never miss a week. Mm, money's still good, I suppose. Oh, you know it. I got my regulars, and I am straight. I make $300 a night and a day off, to say the least. Shit, that ain't bad. We should go down there, baby. Tuesday night is amateur night, baby. We should go. Oh, uh, girl, there ain't no uh, amateurs here. Believe that. Ooh, ooh. Oh, girl. Well, don't let my mother go. <laughs> Damn fools, just look at them. <laughs> I 
Ay, pero mujer, si tú me dijiste que mirara. Ajá, with your eyes, not your head. Devin decided that he wanted to test the waters elsewhere, right? You feel me? Oh, girl, because I know. And then, they're trying to be all civil about it. But you know Delicious is going to hold that until he blows. Blows? Mm. Explodes, mommy. You know what I mean. <laughs> Explode where? Mommy, mira. Cógelo con take it easy, okay? And let me finish my story. <laughs> Okay, you know, as a matter of fact, bitch, get up out of my seat now. And why do you have to be so rude to me all the time? I am not always so rude to you. You are done, mommy. Look. What about my hair? What about your hair? Mira, you said you wanted it curly. Look. Okay, you can sit up. Uh huh. You yeah. know, I always make you look oh, bien nice. Yeah. Thank you, mommy. Uh uh, right here. You're so crazy. Okay, bye. Yeah, mommy. I know, girl. Chloe is our resident diva. So, um, tell them if I can do her Wednesday, because I'm doing Janet Jackson on Thursday for the Grammys. Hello. Every family has a black sheet. Our salon is no exception. You know you hear me. Miss Nora, I had to go do Tony. She needed to touch up before she went out on vacation. Tony, who the hell is that? Braxton. Oh! oh. When you tell Miss Braxton or whatever the hell her name is these days, you gonna need a job. Keep coming in here late. You need to quit hating what you need to do. Excuse me? Miss Nora, my head is burning. It's okay, baby. It's supposed to tingle a little bit. Oh, but this ain't no tingling. I mean, it's burning. All right, all right. Here, look. Read something. J Lo's on her 15th husband. Oh, okay. Well, this is good. Mm-hmm. Okay, I need to borrow $20. What you need $20 for? I'm just going to the movie with the girls. Um, what I tell you about coming out the house with these little tight-ass clothes with your crack hanging all Calm out? Calm down. Damn. It is not that serious. I am just going to the movies, Auntie. Well, I hope you're not going to see these boys at the movies. Go your little $20. Be home by 10. I am going to call and see okay. if you're there. I love you. Stay away from them boys. From out west, I'm broadcasting to you. From out west, I'm broadcasting to you. So you know what we do. From out west, I'm... Devin. What up, Ma? Uh, what you doing here? I, I thought that you were straight thug. What you doing working in this beauty salon? <clears throat> you know, brother got to get his hustle on, you know what I mean? I'll be cutting men's hair, that's it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Well, my sources tell me your hustle is being gay. Dead that. No. <laughs> dead that. Nah, uh uh. Huh, never that, ma. You know what I'm saying? I keep this straight gully. <laughs> Duh, baby. Kool Aid, don't pump it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I knew it, baby. Ain't no way no gay guy could be as smooth as you and have me open like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let the haters hate. <laughs> I'll call you later, baby. Okay, 
Can, can, you, can I talk to you for a second? No. What are you doing? I can't believe you got that bitch up in here interrogating you like you're some kind of a, a suspect listen, or something. I'm trying to... Um, listen, um, baby girl, I'm about to be leaving out of here in one second. And um, I'm trying to build up my rapport and everything. What? This what? I'm trying to... What is this going on? What are you doing? I got this. Listen, I'm trying don't, to... Okay. Listen, I'm trying to expand my clientele. And I just yeah, need me. for you to be a little supportive. And my specialty is dealing with celebrities, so if you just call me, I'm gonna hook you up. Go on, sister. You know, sister, hook up, sister. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Hey, you know, she she already know the number. She know she memorized it and everything. She gonna call. <laughs> you know, she know him and everything. It's all good. You also I, mean, I, I don't get it, Devin. What are you pretending to be? Because uh, it ain't gay and it ain't straight. Or oh, have you forgotten, Devin, that you are, in fact, a very gay man? You know something? You are so out of line, OK? You waltz out of my life, then you waltz back in, pretending everything's all right. But when you know that you are still upset, you ain't got shit to say. Uh, please tell me that you're bi, Devin, so I can just slap the taste out your mouth when I leave. Well, then, then, then why don't you just let us know who I am, huh? Do that for me. Just, just tell us who I am, delicious, because I don't know. You are a gay man. Your name is Devin. You sport a fade haircut. You shop at Banana Republic. Your favorite movie is Breakfast at Tiffany's. And just because you stuck your pole in some tuna don't make you a fisherman. You know you got to give it to Devin. When you got men and women fighting over you, you's a bad man. Player. You big player. <laughs> you just giving me double the heartache and double the stress. Double the trouble, baby. Amen. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. I know you love me, and, and God knows I love you, too. I love you. Delicious. Go ahead, Miss Thing. Salons are just like families. I just hope they can see me fitting in, you know? They see what I see, right? They gonna see a star. Go on up there and show them why they need to hire a person like you. Come mm -hmm. here, come here, come here.
Don't be letting none of them dudes like talk to you and shit. There are no dudes in there. It's a hair salon. Hair salon, barbershop, yeah, same shit. <laughs> nah, handle your business. I'm gonna go. No, I don't like doing that shit. Okay. All right. All right. Design with you in mind. Uh, ha have a seat. They be with you when they feel like it. Me? What? You got handful with bald head. Me? Me? Who so bad? Lunch bad? Uh, okay, honey, can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for Nora Harper. I'm Nora Harper. Uh, my name is Liliana Cordero. I spoke to you on the phone about getting a booth. Oh, honey, you look so young. I have all my paperwork. You got your beauty license in there? Yes. Here it is. Are you any good? I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> I see you fix this. Good luck. Yeah, you're done. Oh, it looks so good. You like it? Like it. <laughs> I love it. As long as nobody see what's underneath this weave. <laughs> oh, I am too cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, all right. Thank you. Settle down. So you studied in New York? The Bronx. Oh, she a regular J-Lo. I'm Dominicana, not Puerto Rican. But she's got some attitude. Mm, I like her already. Excuse me. Uh, delicious. You gonna waddle out of here with my foot up your ass? Uh-huh, and I'll probably like that, too. So, you in, baby. This is your station, yeah? <sighs> Unpack and settle in. I'm gonna send you all the walk-ins so you build up your client list, okay? Okay. All right, all Thank right. Thank you. <laughs> so, welcome to Nora's Hair Salon, where everything is... Design with you in mind. Uh, Ming? What? I like to say it. It's got a catch tone. <laughs> that's me. That's our manicurist. Hi. <laughs> and that's Zenobia. Oh, yeah, Chica. It's about time they had another Latina up in here. Hola, hermana. And that's Devin. And that's his chick on the side, delicious. <laughs> Miss Nora's got jokes today. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I couldn't resist. <laughs> and that's Laron. What's up, boo? Hey, hey. Watch your manners. How you doing? And that's Chloe. She's nothing but a fool. Look, she on that phone. Chloe! No problem, girl. I know. How's Michael? Is he doing okay? Wait a minute. Yes, Janet. I love the way your hair was not That's the way love goes video with the red and everything. It was... Excuse me a second. Why don't you stop being so rude? You see that new girl over there? She's a new family member. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I'm just going to the movies tonight. I mean, play some video games with my friends. Good night. Good night. All right, now. Nora, thank you so much. I told you I needed good people. You proved yourself, which means the only person you have to thank is yourself. 
Well, you gave me the opportunity. Thank you for that. All right, all right, you're welcome. What's all this? Oh, that's my own hairline. I'd hope to have it on all the shelves of the fine department stores. Or hell, even the drug stores. Never made it any further in my clients' heads. You should have more faith. This could work. Ooh, not at the Jill's head today, baby. Between me and you, that was a terrible misfortune. You just went over your time. That could happen with any relaxer. You probably have to lessen the amount of one of your ingredients. You got a fresh head on you. How old did you say you were again? 24. You look so much younger. That's going to work for you when you get older. 24. That's the age where everything and anything is still possible. <laughs> Oof. Are you okay? Yeah, I just got a little heartburn, baby. I'm all right. Are you sure? Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to take a, take a couple of aspirin. Is that for you? Yeah. Uh, he a little impatient, ain't he? You think? Do you want me to stay with you a while? Oh, no, baby. I'm all right. You go ahead on before your prince turns into a frog. Actually, he's just a friend. Mm. What time do you want me to come in tomorrow? Nine o'clock, baby. Everybody comes in here at nine o'clock. Thanks again. All right. Good night. Good night. Oh. Oh, hey, look who's here. That's a good boy. Oh, what a good boy he is. Yeah, that's a good boy. Oh, it's good to see you, boo boo. Mm. Did you miss me? Hmm? It's a good boy. Oh. I don't want it, my own infomercial cashew. girl. What do you mean? I was in Japan. I saw all your infomercials on TV and all my friends in Europe say you, you know, you're everywhere. <laughs> really? Let's finish it, Laura. Let's finish it. Well, it's a whole lot of stuff. Girl, you done gone global. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Tell me more about this concert. It's still going on. Now, wait a minute. Come on now. You telling me you left the green room over there in Japan? Girl, I left the first act on stage. I took a jet, came here to get my hair done by my favorite hairdresser, and I hook her sister up. That's what I'm talking about. See you gonna saying? put this on Bobby Christie? Girl, hair? I'm gonna tell all my celebrity friends about it. Every last one of them. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Mary J? Mary J. Tweet? Tweet? <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, Jake. She could have stayed around a little longer, baby. Help me out. had a good night. A delicious night. Oh, honey, that's too much information, OK? I don't need to hear all that. Ay, Dios mío, ese señor. Tú eres un puta. English, this is America. Skank. Trick. Slut. Pole spinner. Two-time and hussy. Booty clapper. 
chicken head. <laughs> Why don't the two of you quit before I wash your mouths out with shampoo? That's worse than acid. Her shampoo is acid. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, What's she doing here? Help me. Ming, you got one client book today. So, she help with one. Uh, all right. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hey, Auntie, you wanted to see me? Yes. Where were you last night? I called the house at midnight and no one answered the phone. That wasn't my fault. The first two shows were sold out, so we had to watch the label. What you needed to do was bring your little black ass home. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, nothing. And if I find out you've been messing around with them little boys instead of your schoolwork, whatever, I'm leaving. Whatever, nothing, come all right, here. All right, Chloe, that's enough. That's not necessary. Miss Nora, she thinks she's grown, and she is too fast for her own good. Looks like it runs in the family. And Devin, you can kiss my entire family's ass. How about that? All right, all right, that's enough. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Boy. That's enough for y'all today. Come on. Liliana. So can I call you Lily? Sure. Lots of people call me Lily. How you like California? California is great. I have a great job, a great boss. I'm working with all these great people. California's been great. <laughs> I like that hat. My mama used to have a hat like that. Thanks. I used to love dressing up in my mama's clothes. Were you too close? Oh, yeah. She bought me this salon. Really? Everything I knew about hair, I learned from my mama. She saved up, bought this place. I'm reminded of my mama every day. That must feel great. I'm sure she's really proud of you. I hope so. Excuse me. Miss Nora, hi. I don't have an appointment, but I have a really huge engagement to go to tonight, and can you please, please just squeeze me in with somebody? I don't need much, just a bomb ass blowout. All right, all right, relax. We got a new girl here, Lily. She'll take care of you. Wait a minute. Is she the one that fixed Joe Carson's hair? Oh, yeah. All right, now I heard a lot about you. <laughs> Jill's never looked any better. What's your name? Kiki. Kiki Lily, Lily Kiki. Hi. Sit down. Thank you, Miss Laura. Th I know, sit down. Oh. All right. I don't need much. I just want you to make sure that my hoods are real straight. All right, I can oh. do that. Ooh. Do you run the iron? Girl, whatever you I do, know so I <laughs> Hold on one second. I'll be right back, OK? OK. Liliana, you all right in that, baby? Yeah, I'm OK. I'll be out in a second. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus, baby. Liliana, what happened to you? <laughs> that impatient boy that picked you up last night, he hit you? <laughs> Oh, honey, you can't work like this. No, no, I can work. I need this job. It's OK. I can do it. No, baby, you can't work like this. Your eyes damn near swollen shut. Now, I can't let my customers see you like this. <laughs> now, I didn't say you couldn't work. Just not under these conditions. I'm sorry, don't be mad at me, OK? I just got here, and I don't know anybody. I met Benny, and he said he was a manager, and that he could hook me up. He said I could stay at his place until I got settled down, because I can't pay rent. 
a couple of days ago, he started acting like he likes me. And I don't like him like that. He seems so nice, you know? He was just so charming. I can't. You're gonna have to pull yourself together, baby. That boy ain't nothing but a pimp. <laughs> now you come on. You gotta get yourself together and go home. I can't. Why not? Because I'm living with him right now. Oh. You come on, stay at my house. No, you stay with me for a while. He won't find you there. Nora, I can't. What you mean you can't? When you gonna start talking about what you can do? My mama did, and look at this place. My daddy used to beat her just the same. It ain't no way for a woman to live. But I don't, I, don't, I don't. butt me. Just meet me in the back parking lot. I'll get your things. Oh, uh, oh, you know what? That don't make no sense. Y'all need to be ashamed of yourselves. Move out of the way. Need to be ashamed. Ming, I gotta take care of some business. Hold down the fort, all right? Who's here? Look who's here. This is Cashew. Say hey, Lily. This is my house, sweetie. You just make yourself at home. Nora, you have a beautiful place. Oh, thank you. It's just me and Cashew. We're happy to get some company. You hungry? No, I'm OK. No, 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 no. I got some ground beef in the refrigerator. I'll whip up some burgers. Maybe we'll rent some videos tonight. All right. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Nora, thank you so much. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You stay here as long as you need to. He won't find you here. You just get your life together, right? Look at this. While I stayed with Miss Nora, I don't know which one is which. life at the salon was business as usual. Devin, delicious. Ming, Zenobia, and Chloe. As crazy as they appeared sometimes, my life was a lot brighter with them around. Don't get me wrong, there was definitely drama. Whether it was Ming cussing out customers. Gross! I charge you extra! or Devin and Delicious and their never-ending hissy fits. But it was the good times that stayed with me most. When that hair salon seemed to make the problems of the outside world fade away. You look at Bueno in them jeans and heels. Belly button showing, got some sex appeal. Streaks in your hair, pink and nails get up. Abs looking like where a group of hairstylists became the most important family I'd ever come to know. Now, you know you're supposed to rub him when you come in here. What's wrong with you this morning? I've never seen you come in here that early before. Oh, man. Miss Nora, she is putting me 
through it. I don't know what to do. Do you know she didn't even come home last night? This was so much easier when she was young, but now this little she-devil, I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. Chloe, you got to communicate with these kids. Now, if she's scared of you, she's just gonna distance herself further and further away from you. Yeah, but Miss Nora, look at you. You are a strong, no-nonsense woman who does not play at all. <laughs> yeah, but I come from a time when children didn't call child and family services. You just got the shit beat out of you. Yeah, I just don't know about all this parenting stuff. It just seems like as she gets older, we start clashing more and more. And I know I promised my sister I'd take care of her until she got her life back on track, but this, this is too hard. Listen to me, baby. Yeah, life is hard, but it can't be too hard. You can't give up on these kids. You gotta love them and keep on loving. That's all you can do. Yes? Auntie? Tashina, where the hell are you? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry I didn't come home last night, but please don't be angry with me. I just don't want to argue with you anymore. Uh, fine, I won't ask any more questions, baby. Just please come home. Yes, Auntie. Okay, look, when you get home tonight, you and I are gonna have a long talk. Just promise me you will never do anything like this again. Yes. Listen, I love you. I love you too. Okay, bye. Bye. So what'd she say? She wants me to come home. Oh, Miss Nora. She gonna be all right. Thank you. Look, Lamont, I don't want to keep lying to my auntie and hurting her like this. Maybe I should just, you know, slow it down with you. Like, we... No, wait, wait, slow it down? Yeah. Wait, wait, but I love you. Don't you love me? You know I love you, Lamont. Look, I want to be with you forever and a day, but your auntie, she's not going to let us be together. I can tell you anything, Auntie. Anything. Well, then I have something to tell you. I do have a boyfriend. You do? Yep. And you know who? I mean, who? Who is it? You promise you won't get mad at me? I promise. Okay. It's Lauren, Auntie, and we really love each other too. I'm so glad I told you. Now I don't have to lie to you anymore. Auntie, what are you doing? Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I will fix it. I will fix it. So, um, hold, hold this for me, baby. I'm, I'm gonna get to that right now. So you, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so nervous. Um, okay, so tell me again. You, you, you're seeing, uh, Le LeBron? Hey, baby, what you... Well, what's that about? You lied to me. You're confused by sexual ass Lie to me. No, 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 I ain't lie to you. I, I, I'm a thug. No, no, yeah, you know what I'm Shut up. Just save it, Devin. Word of advice, leave the real woman alone. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How you doing, Ms. Nora? Hey, babe. What's up, y'all? Hey, Leron. So you want to be a hot boy, huh? What you talking about? <laughs> I said you want to be a hot boy. I know you've been dating Tashina behind my back, right? Yeah, maybe. And? All right, look, Chloe. I care about your niece a whole great deal. And I'm going to speak up because I'm a man let you know how I feel. 
I'm gonna keep seeing her because I love her and I care about her. Matter of fact, I think you need to stop being so strict and, and ease up a little bit. Now, I feel like you should give me some kind of credit for speaking my mind and being a man. Oh. Um, excuse me, but I got this. You knew damn well I didn't want Tashina seeing any boys, and you running around here all up in my face acting like you innocent, meanwhile, you dating her. So what, you asking for some kind of credit, some kind of respect, is that what you want? Is that what you asking for? Some respect and some credit? Well, I got your respect and your credit right here. Get your little ass out of here, you poor But I love him. Come back in here. But I love him. Shut up with you. I'm not through with you talking about, I love him. What do you know about love? You still got Similac on your breath. Which I love when you came out there and was said, hey, 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 I want to introduce my baby, Bobby Christina. Everybody, this is the love of my life. Girl, you know I got you down. I got you down. <laughs> so when you gonna come up in here and get your hair done? Like... <laughs> Kiss my ass, show. I was, we, we got um, disconnected or something. Uh, I'm just, never mind. Have an important appointment. When Chloe get here, I want you to let her have it. So sick of her being late. Please, pleasure. You think you hot shit? Miss Too Good for Nora Salon. Now, I tell you, I see your celebrity client on Good Day LA. Her hair stinks. <laughs> Why, you little shriveled up, no English speaking, troll looking imp, I will. Hey, hey, Chloe, what you doing talking to Ming like this? Damn, just when it was getting good. Oh, no. You didn't even hear what she said to me. I just walked in here, I haven't even taken off my coat yet, and she starts going off on me. I can't work like that. Like how, Chloe? Disappearing for two whole days and coming in here whenever you feel like it? Leaving your clients for 30 to 40 minute stretches? And you can't even call and say you're gonna be late. Oh, oh wait, no, cause these people ain't the Braxtons or the Jacksons. They don't deserve common decency from you. They can just wait. What you need to know, Chloe, is that it's these people that got you to the Braxtons and the Jacksons, supposedly. And that it's this place, this salon that taught you, gave you the experience to know how to deal with them kind of women. Yeah, that's right. Pat yourself on the back for my success. This has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a fierce hairdresser or that I bring most of the young clientele in here. It's all because of Miss Nora. Well, let me ask you something, Miss Nora. Where's your star-studded client list? <laughs> How come the Jacksons and the Braxtons uh -uh, aren't banging uh -uh. down on your door? Cuídate, Chloe, porque te voy a meter en puño, okay? You have no right talking to Miss Nora like that. <laughs> Bitch, me, please. Uh, you know what? It's uh, mothers uh, like you, hairdressers by day okay, and stripper uh, hoes by night uh, that get on my nerves. You know, you know what? You ain't got no right talking to her like that. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody needs to slap the word celebrity out your goddamn mouth. Oh, for Hell real? Yeah. Now the little confused tramp want to talk up in here. You know, you just 
sat around and displayed your whole Jerry Springer lifestyle in front of the whole. Uh, Jerry Springer. Yeah, Jerry I'm gonna Springer. I'm going to bust you, you up. Let me explain no something. You don't know what you're doing. You are a bunch of freaks with no legs. Freaks. Freak. Who the hell is that? Freak. Bitch, get the fuck out of my face, Holly. Freak. Oh my God, Miss Nora. What happened to Miss Nora? Get out of the way. See what you do with your mouth? You're no different, Chloe. Fancy clothes, big check, and a celebrity client. Huh. Let me take you home. No, I mean, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chloe, I want you out of here. I want you to get your things and I want you out of here. You're right, you've moved on, so there ain't no reason for you to be here no more, okay? I don't want nobody here who don't want to be here. And as for us being freaks, well, at least we are family, whatever that means. Take me home, me. How did I go so wrong? What? You're talking crazy, Lady Talk. No, I'm serious, man. When my mama ran that salon, people used to come in there to be happy. All I remember was laughter. Now all they do is, is, is fight and bitch and, and belittle one another. No, no, no. You only remember it that way. But I was older. I remember. When your mother was doing this lady's hair, and she was sleeping with my mother's client's husband, and when they found out, big fight right there in the salon, pulling her hair and kicking and all that, lots of times. There's no difference now. It sure does feel different. Best thing about Nor's salon, why people come. They come to talk. They need someone to listen to them. That's what made them feel good and pretty. Arguments are good. They cleanse the soul like seaweed and garlic. I love you, Renee. Now, go and get some rest. And then I go in my house and I make you some special Korean magic soup. Okay, baby. You wait, and I bring. Thank you. Liliana, I'm home, baby. Nora, what are you doing home so early? Oh, I wasn't feeling so good. But I'm all right now. Nothing to worry about. What's all this in here? I'm gonna show you. Okay. I decided to experiment with three of my dolls today. Yeah. I collect dolls from all over the world. All right. Now, they all have human hair, okay? This is Rosario, and she's from the Dominican Republic, like me. She has curly hair. Mm hmm. All right. This is Serafina. She has an afro, she's from Central Africa. And this is Lupe from Mexico, and she has fine, very straight hair. So I parted it down the middle. On one side, I used the original Nora's hair relaxer. And on the other side, I used the new and improved Nora's hair relaxer. New and improved? You know, you just had to change the amounts of one of the ingredients. This looks good, babe. Now all we have to do is get Chloe to get it on one of our famous celebrity clients' heads. Nope, can't do that. Why not? Fired her today. Why? Long story. That's, look, that's cool. If, if being from the BX taught me one thing, it's the art of the hustle. And I could get this out there on people's heads in no time. 
What did you say our name was? Rosario. Nora. Well, much better. Actually, I'm feeling great. Hey, Mama. Hey, what's up? Well, you gave us quite a scare last night. Well, I'm sorry about that. No, we're the ones who should be sorry. We didn't know all our drama was making you sick. Yeah, well, how about we take it easy on the drama, all right, John? Okay. All right? Hey, Ming. Mm. I'm all right. If anyone wants us to go up in there and get shorter, you know what I'm saying? Quick and fast, no hassle. All right. Yo, ain't this Fulton Street? Yeah, this is Fulton Street. I got a shorty that live up the block. I'm gonna go and holler at her. You can handle this. Where the hell is Lily? What? Never Wait. mind. Shut up. What? Dude, what are you doing here? You can't be disappearing for days like that. Benny's looking for you. He sent me. Let's go. You coming okay, with me. Okay, okay. You need to tell Benny that I'm not dealing with him anymore. You need to tell him that. Listen, you coming with me. I'm not going with you. Devin, <laughs> just get this thug out of here. Devin, would you move your ass and help me out here, please? <laughs> what you gonna do, sweet and low? No, get her. What the hell with you? Oh, 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 what you oh my God. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Call 911. No, wait. I'll be back. What are you doing? What is that? Chinese magic spray. He stays asleep 16 hours. Soldiers are using Chinese army. What you doing with that, Ming? You ain't no Chinese and you ain't no soldier. I use it for my mace, my Chinese mace. <gasps> Help me. Help me. Help me. What are you doing? He's gonna wake up. Not after what she gave him. Her Chinese remedies are as powerful as my hair products. Okay. I see what y'all about to do. Where did you get that? What? Y'all mind your business. Turn him around. Come on. From out west, I'm broadcasting to you. From out west, I'm broadcasting to you. So you know what we do. Let's do what we do best. did teach this son of a bitch a lesson. <laughs> so what do we do now? Santa Monica Boulevard! <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know what she said, but I know she said he looks messed up. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. I can't believe we just did that. I can't believe, first of all, that we're in here. Baby, I can't believe I used to work here. Excuse me. Hello. Benny, it's me. It's Liliana. Hey, yo, put Dean on the phone. You know what? When you sent his punk ass down to the salon to manhandle me, he got a little more than he bargained for. What? You can find him at 4408 Main Street. And you know what, Benny? I don't want you calling me no more. I don't want you coming to find me. It's over. Anything between you and me is done. You out of your mind? You can't get away from me. Listen, I invested way too much in you. First of all, I pay for all your pictures, all your bullshit. Hey, it's not that simple, love. You can't just get away from me that easy. Believe me. We will see each other again. Listen to me, Benny. I'm not wasting any more time and energy on you. You don't put fear in my heart. You know what? If you ever so much as call me again, I will have your ass in prison so fast you'll be looking like your stupid ass bitch friend Dean. Man, I don't think so. Is it? I don't know, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's him, dog. If not, that's one ugly bitch. <laughs> hey, boys. Ooh, he's cute. Oh, hell no. Yo, what about Dean? Leave his ass here, man. Is there a reason we had a sick back entrance? Oh, the swim, the swim. The swim party. party. Remember when yes, they had the swim yes, party? Oh, my God. What was that song? Yeah, you know, all my clients, they be sweating me and everything, and we'd never get any work done. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, I'm, I'm going to hook you up in the VIP room. OK. <laughs> Come on. Let's Show me how to do it. Yes. Oh, yes. Trust me, if you're as good as you say you are, I'm going to hook you up with a full spread next month. Oh, my God. Thank you, mm -hmm. girl. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go get everything hooked up okay. and ready, and you just wait right here, okay? I'll be right there. Okay. Sure. I'm still on. We gotta, we gotta, this is part of the routine. We gotta meditate. We gotta breathe and stuff, you know? So I'm gonna take you a couple of deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay. One, two, three. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nam yol, hoing Nam yol, hoing That's good, that's good. What's the matter? You okay? I'm having a panic attack. What's the matter? Oh, what do you need? I need some water. Okay, hold on. You just wait right here and be quiet. I'll get you some water, okay? All right, you get the water. What you doing here? I'll explain everything in a minute, Miss Nora. No, you'll explain right now. I can't. My client's in there having a panic attack. Your client? Here? Yes, and I'll explain everything later, Miss Nora. I just really, please, I need your help. Okay? What's wrong with you, baby? I'll be fine. I just needed a second to catch my breath. I am so sorry. I don't even work here anymore. I just really wanted that article, and I really wanted to do a great job. And I promise I'll make it up to you, OK? 
Oh, shoot. I forgot my relaxer. Go out there and get mine. Girl, go out there and tell Liliana to give you my relaxing. Well, baby, what's wrong? Probably some old ignorant ass man. Miss Nora, I, I love it. What did you use? My own brand. I've been trying to get it out there a long time, baby. Have you ever thought of mass producing this stuff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, we are gonna get some people on this right away. I'm gonna get you some sponsors. We're gonna get this stuff on the shelves. Everyone's gotta use this stuff. It's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, great. I hope you can do that. Oh, that is such good news, especially on your birthday. Uh-uh. Don't start on that birthday stuff, y'all. <laughs> no, 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 no. We already got plans for you. We're taking you down to my strip club. Ain't nobody taking me to no strip club. <laughs> Come on, y'all. In China, I was a stripper, too, and I made a lot of money. What happened to you since? What do you mean, what happened? I'm 68 years old, and my tits look like fried dumplings. Oh. Ming, <laughs> Ming, leave it to Ming. <laughs> Down there right away, Nora. Nora. How are we doing on IV? What's that pressure? Let's get another pressure here.
Hey, kid, you want to go for round two? Miss Nora, how you going to leave me here kicking myself forever? <laughs> Honey, this place wasn't big enough for both of us. One of us had to go. <laughs> you know you crazy, right? Well, you ain't dealing with a full deck yourself. Yeah. So what do I do now? Well, how about you get them Braxtons and Jacksons down here to the salon? I'm leaving you in charge of the A-list, Chloe. I want you to get everybody in Hollywood and, and the music industry down here, and I want you to straighten their hair with Nora's relaxer. Design. With you in mind. Ah. <laughs> I just wanted to say I'm sorry. And that you have taught me everything that I know. And working here at the salon, it's not just a job. It's home. And I just, I wanted you to know that I love you, Miss Nora. Excuse me, are you me? Yes, I am. Uh, doctor? I'm Dr. Briggs. Uh, how is Nora? Well, I've been Nora's doctor on several occasions like this. Now, Nora's had two heart attacks in the last six weeks. Second heart attack? Miss Nora was sick and we didn't know about it? Well, it started about a year ago. But this one it wasn't mild. This one was severe. And it did extensive damage to Nora's heart. That bad? Is she going to be OK? Well, quite frankly, I don't know. Can I see her? All right. But please remember, she is weak. Keep it brief. Thank you. Miss Nora, look, your hair's all messed up. You sweated it out at the club. <sighs> no, you stay with me for a while. He won't find you there. What you mean you can't? When you gonna start talking about what you can do? Oh. There's so much we have to do. You know? We gotta get that relaxer out. You're the strongest woman I've ever known. I never told you how much it meant to me to have you in that salon. Well, I can see somebody had a good night. A delicious night. You know, I can hear you saying, what the hell are you and that boy delicious going to do? Well, you know what? We're going to be all right. 
Delicious and I are gonna be just fine. I don't think you're gonna go anywhere. You're gonna be fine. Right, Ma? Worse than acid. Her shampoo is acid. <laughs> hey, y'all ain't right. What y'all got jokes? <laughs> Wake up. Don't leave me. It's not gonna be the same without you. You've always been my mommy. You've always been my mom. Thank you. Nora, please don't go. Don't leave us. Hey, Ming. Don't start talking all that shit like those kids. I'm just passing over, baby. I had a weak heart after Jake died. Missed him too much. Loved him. I'm going home, that's all. I'm gonna miss you, Ming. I've been knowing you since I was a kid. My mother loved you, too. Took care of both of us. I left you the house, the whole house. Let Liliana stay as long as she wants. Devin, Zenobia, Chloe. Everybody gets an equal share of the salon, including Delicious. I love Delicious. It's crazy, but I love all of them. And you make sure they keep that salon happy. That neighborhood's changing. Keep hold of the family. I'm all right, Ming. I'm just passing over. I'm just passing over. I love you, Nora. Well, that's our story. As promised, Dahlia, the sister from Sister Hair Magazine, she helped push the product and got many celebrities to endorse it. What gave us strength was that Nora accomplished what she had set out to do in her life. 
Her dream had been fulfilled. And we were blessed to carry out her legacy. Normally, I don't endorse products. But Nora's hair products, bah! Thank you, girl. To this day, you can feel Miss Nora's presence in the salon. If you don't believe me, come and see for yourself at Nora's Hair Salon. Designed with you in mind. <laughs> I love you too, baby. If you so much as ever call me again, I'm gonna send your ass to prison and you'll be looking like your bitch friend day. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude. You're like, shit. Oh, damn, baby. What you been doing? Open on a shit, dancing on open cans? Your client, here. Yes, and I'll explain everything later, but I really need your help, Miss Cora. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you <laughs> on, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Jackson, but I am for real. I want you to also give each of the kids uh, an equal share of the salon. You run it. And don't get up in none of them black people's faces, because, you know, somebody will cut you one day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Be still! Be still, white people! Get out. <laughs> I know that was a white Should person, because it was like a little quiet sound. <laughs> <laughs> They've been black and it been some like shit falling all over. OK, come on. All right, quiet. Oh, this ain't enough. This ain't enough, fool! This ain't enough, fool! This ain't enough, fool! Oh, this ain't... This ain't enough, fool! That's f***ed up. Start again. He's a wild fool! Oh, this ain't enough. F***ed up. Do it again. We going? Thought I 